Jan, uh, you are a professor of uh, law and technology at uh, the Eindhoven University of uh, Technology. So uh, your educational and uh, professional background is uh, clearly uh, legal, although of course not solely. But um, considering your background, I'm curious about your thoughts as a legal expert uh, on uh, open access uh, publishing. Uh, yeah, that's a, 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 a nice question, and it's it's both a very easy and both very complicated. Okay. Uh, open access in the sense that um, there's a way of publishing or open access, giving open access. The, the idea, the basic idea behind this is giving access to knowledge, information, data. The idea behind all the intellectual property rights, for instance, like copyright or and which is used by the publishers, either in music or in books, is that we pay them for their way of distribution, yeah. for their system of distribution, so yeah. to speak, because they never pay for the content. No, it's even worse. Publishers, if you have, if you would like to have a preprint, for instance, or a, a print, you need to pay as an author. You'll never get. Um, a, a simple uh, for free or almost for free okay. the print. So op when we talk about open access we talk not about intellectual property rights but we talk about a different way of distributing knowledge. Okay, I understand. And if a university is paid by tax money or most of it being paid by tax money or having a role in let's say the spreading of knowledge then in my opinion, open access has to do with giving the public back the knowledge they paid for through taxes. Okay. So yeah. in that sense, I find that open access is a, a very fine thing in an academic or educational environment. So according to your opinion, our university, the Eindhoven University of Technology, should strive for open access. Yes. I, I, I find that for, for most invented or okay. uh, invention yeah. or uh, the, 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 the information which is produced in a different way, the knowledge which is produced in a, in a, in a different way or the, let's say the embodiment is always in different, in different forms, it could yeah. be in a patent or in a book or an article. Yeah. The basic rule should be that it should be open access. Open access. Yeah. Um, and you as a professor of law and technology, what for example can you do to improve the open access situation, for example, at our university. Well, well there, of course, there, there's two, again two ways of looking at it. I could try to influence the, the, the our board of directors or the people who are trying to make money out of the yeah. knowledge. Um, so that's first group of opponents, so to speak. The, the third group of or the second group of opponents, of course, is is let's say the the people who are having the monopoly on the distribution of scientific knowledge, yeah. like the publishers yeah. with books and articles. And the third uh, group of opponents is the people that are, let's say, in the wake or in the course of developing new things and they are suckers for attention, so they really want to think that they are going to earn a lot of money also with what they have. So there's three very different groups of opponents which will by themselves try to oppose yeah. open access um, but that's not my viewpoint my viewpoint is that we have used public money um, to let's say teach yeah and, do the research and, and, yeah. and do that on purpose of the benefit of us all yeah and it should not be built into a system for the purpose and for the benefits of just a few or the happy few so open it, let's say at the university open access should be normal and yeah. general and which doesn't mean that at times there might be reasons to okay. protect yeah. either an invention or a book or yeah. or maybe a person because of the things he found out or said or yeah. no the legal whatever. expert is speaking <laughs> Jan, many thanks for your contribution it uh, was nice to have the opportunity to talk about open access thank you thank you again